Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, man, welcome back to the channel, man. You know how we do on here, man. We keep it 100. <laughs> Yo, um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for leaving comments. Uh, thank you for you keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? Because you always give me the positive feedback, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, mostly positive. But I appreciate every single one because it makes me better and I learn from it. Um, and, uh, you know, even though I got one negative comment that said that you need to stop telling people to subscribe to your channel. Um, no, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel because I do need your help. I need your help to grow my channel. And if you do like my channel, you like my videos um, and subscribe to it, then more people that need this kind of content will get it. You know, so yeah, it benefits me as far as growing my channel, but it benefits other people out there that don't know about my channel and that a lot of people ain't keeping it 100 out there. So yeah, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to the channel. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I respect your opinion, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask you anyway. <laughs> but um, again, that's just me. Anyway, man, so today I wanna have the, I wanna make a video about pros and cons of being a radiology student as far as clinical wise, okay? So, Let's start with cons first, you know, because everybody wants another bad stuff first. Let's start with cons, okay? There is none. That's it. There is no cons in being a radiology clinical student. Yes, you get you have to so, so called work for free. Yes, you don't always get the best text to work with. Yes, you know, the hours you go into clinicals are not the best, but you signed up for this. This is what you signed up for as far as being a radiology technologist. You knew the pros and cons already. You know what I'm saying? You knew that you're going to work for free. You knew it's a full-time program. You knew that it's not going to be easy because I've been telling you it's not an easy program. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I never got A's in my life. I was like C's good degrees because I'm, I'm just not that smart when it comes to like books and stuff, you know? I'm hands-on pretty good, but when it comes to like book and, and passing registries, I'm not the best. I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100, but I busted my butt, man. I stayed dedicated, motivated. I stayed um, just consistent. That's what I did. I stayed consistent, man. And and even though I wasn't getting perfect grades, I made enough to make it through, you know. But I knew what I got myself into. I knew that I had to go to. I knew I had to go to clinicals and work for free and not be with the best techs. I got, when I was a tech dude, I had this this tech one that I will never forget. One day he'll be like, "Hey, Juan, what's up? How you doing?" You know, blah blah. And the next day he'll be like, "Get get away from me." I was like, "What?" <laughs> like, yeah, man, it throws you off because you're like, "What's going on?" Right? But yes, you have to put up with that. There's no cons in getting a better education. There's no cons in, you know, bettering yourself for your future. There's no cons in learning what you went to school for and what you put your, you know, your parents paying for it or you paying for it. It, it, it. There's no cons to it, okay? It's all pros, and let me tell you why, okay? And let me tell you how you can get better as a student. So the pros of being a, you know, radiology student in a clinical setting is that for one, you'll get to see if this is what you really want to do. You know, a lot of people get into the field and, and then go to school be like, oh, it's so cool. We get to see bones and we get to press a button and we're good and nah, player's not that easy. So once you go to clinicals, you're like, oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> There's plenty of people that dropped out, not because they weren't smart enough, they weren't good enough because they understood like, man, this is what I'm gonna have to do for my career when I come to work. You know, I have to put up with these people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it is, man. It opens your eyes when you go to clinicals because, you know, you realize what you're really going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So, soak it all in. Um, the other thing about, you know, the other benefit and pro about being in the hospital setting is that you get to be a real techs and you get to go with them and do x-rays and see real life patients. It's not about, you know, being in class, simulating each other, cause you guys are walkie talkie, y'all practice on each other, y'all don't have no dead weight. And when you go to the CCU, IBC, you gotta gown up, you gotta put everything on, you're sweaty, you're tired, you're sore from pulling all these patients. You're like, man, this is a tough, tough career, hospital wise. It is tough. It is a tough career to get into, but you're learning, right? You, 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 you get in the feel of, even if you don't like the hospital work, you be like, you know what? I don't think I want to work in a hospital because it's a little harder than I expected. But I'll do urgent care. I'll do outpatient. You know, why not? Better hours, you know, all this other stuff. So it opens your eyes to the real world, right? And another thing when you're a student is a tech is not going to sit there and if a requisition prints out, right? So that's the paper that you get whenever you go, to go do a patient. If a requisition prints out, a tech will never tell you, hey, let's go do it. 
you have to show the initiative to go and want to learn. You're paying for the money. You're paying to be there. It's your responsibility to be like, hey, can I go with you? Oh, what are you doing? Can I do it? Can I comp? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can I? Yeah, you have to be like that annoying little sister, that only, the annoying little brother that wants to be there and that wants to learn. And guess what? That tech is going to sit there and be like, you know what, man? You really want to learn? You really want to do this? I got you. You know, I'm, I'm going to show you how to be the best tech, uh, you know, that I can teach you to be, right? Um, so you have to be that eagerness, man. You can't sit there and be shy and be like... I don't know if I want to do this patient, you know, I'm kind of scared. And once they do let you comp, you're like taking 45 minutes to do a hand x-ray. Like you have to be confident, man. You were smart enough to get it accepted into the program. You are smart enough to do these patients and you're smart enough to, you, you're no better than us that are registered. We're just registered techs. We're human. You know, we just got the little thing that says we're RTs, you know, but that doesn't make me or any other tech better than you. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in the same team at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, you know, I want you to get good because you're going to be on my side. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to know that I'm teaching somebody that wants to learn, that wants to be there because one day you might be my sidekick. Be like, hey, man, let's go do some x-rays. Oh, yeah, let's go, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, man. This this is this opportunity and experience is all on you. And if you go to school and you go to clinicals, and you're like, man, you know what? Uh, this ain't for me. I'm going to drop out. I'm going to switch programs perfect man that is amazing and don't ever look at it as a failure because you are learning off life's experiences if you would never went for x-ray it will always be on your mind and you'd be like man i should have went for x-ray school you know what i'm saying when you're god forbid you know later later when you're 100 years old and you're in your deathbed you're like man i wish i went for x-ray man i wish i would gave it a shot so it's better to give it a shot and realize that it's not for you than to never give it a shot and be like always wondering what if what if okay so i dropped these videos man to give you real knowledge real information real motivation you guys are good enough you're smart enough you got this if you really want it and if it's not for you that's okay all right guys i hope this helped you already know man i'll be back man y'all stay true to me and re subscribe and like peace